<laughs> oh my goodness! We're back! Super Merry Face and Guy Tang! <laughs> now, it's been over two months. Check this out. Today's episode is another exciting day of <laughs> Paranormal Activity! <laughs> <laughs> because we just don't know what's gonna happen, right? Yeah. Mary, we do, we do not know what's gonna happen. But take a look. Um, she has a regrowth situation, which I like. And it looks like a swamp witch, which, <laughs> you know, like a more witchy color. And, and a little swampy, and it has, it has a whole look of its own. Don't you agree? Mm-hmm. Mary? Uh, Hello, I'm really channeling the, the witch today. Yeah. I'm wearing all black. And yeah, Look we make it. the witch work. Yeah, but it's not bad look. I mean, you know, if we style a little bit, it'll be cute. But that's not the look we're going for. She mm -hmm. is a galactic empress. Empress. So we're gonna come up with this galactic tone. Yes. I'm so yes. excited. Yes. I have yes. loved the green. You guys have loved the green. Mm -hmm. But we're saying bye bye to the green to show that every single color the guy can do is freaking amazing. Because what do we do? We break stereotypes. stereotypes. We don't do stereotypes. Not sexy. Any kind of stereotypes, be gone! So here is the product processing on Mary's hair. I apply um, a 30 volume uh, with lightener, but of course I mix Olaplex, okay? So I mix some, some of this Olaplex. You guys know how it works. Like you, it's like a, what do you call it, mouthwash thingy? It's like a shot glass. See, you, <laughs> I know, isn't that cool? So I use this uh, Olaplex it's with the lightener, of course, just to protect her hair while it's lifting. And then I'm going to wait till this lift to a level 10. And then I'm going to mix a 10 volume with Olaplex and pull it halfway through to remove some of the excess dye load that's on there. But you guys, let me, let me tell you, I really want to teach Mary how to twerk. <laughs> Do you know how to twerk, Mary? I, I don't. I'm like... People I, I, have seen me dance in my vlogs. Well, oh my god. I, I am like the most mayonnaise dancer in the we, world. We should do like chest twerking. Chest. Okay. Guy is going to teach me some moves. And, and, and Look at him. You just have the best wait, butt. You no, have no, the no. best butt. Let's see. I need to put like the Olaplex. Let's see if I can. Kim Kardashian it. I can't. Here's Olaplex. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm not as good as Kim Kardashian, <laughs> but whatever, I tried. <laughs> so, I'm gonna actually put a, a little baggie. Um, I actually cut a little slit into this bag. And I'm gonna pull Mary's hair back. So that way it helps the lightener lift a little faster up to level 10. So, by cutting that slit, you're able to put the bag without pushing the hair and smashing it into B. So smart. I know that one little slit helps everything. I can't wait. <laughs> no, no, I have to do like. Wait, wait, we got to do like a little. I'm gonna, I'm gonna twerk into your face. Yes, there. that's it. Yes, this is what I want every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. A lot of you guys have messaged me and asked me to film a video about hair color removers, and I've done that several, several times. And in my past videos, I've always said it only removes oxidative dyes which is like permanent colors and things like that but it will not remove like fashion colors you know like green pink purple blue so i decided you know while i'm retouching mary's regrowth with the bleach or the lightener i decided to perform a strand test right here one strand with a hair color remover and let's see what happened i'm gonna let it all process together um, i'm actually gonna close this in like that and then check back in 30 minutes and maybe even apply heat to just that area and see what a hair color remover will do to faded uh, green blue color because if it doesn't remove the verdict is out the debate it is over there's no ifs ands and buts that a hair color remover can remove direct dyes in some cases it can, but in most cases, and scientifically, it won't. So let's find out. Stay tuned. Oh my gosh! Ah. Something exciting just happened. And this is why we call it paranormal hair activity, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh, this just happened. Okay, it's only 10 minutes, but check this out. Okay, are you ready? Are you, are you ready? Mary, are you ready? I'm so ready. Okay, check this out. Ah. Look at that! Oh my gosh. I mean, are you kidding me? 
Are you, are you kidding me? This is a hair color remover. A hair color remover, not a bleach. It turned it blonde. That means, one, we don't have to damage the hair. We don't have to put a clear, ammonia, uh, bleach, anything. I mean, literally, it's just a color remover. So now this is telling me I could just perform a color remover on her hair. That's it. And remove everything. And then apply whatever color I want. Because I am testing these things live for you guys because even I don't know exactly what it's going to do. I mean, this is the best form of education, I think, because we all learn from it. Actually, I call you guys my hair besties because we're friends. <laughs> and as a friend, I'm here to share with you guys. Right, Mary? Mm -hmm. We're going to learn with you, which is the best way to We're learn. all learning together. <laughs> all right, guys. I, I am going to use the Kenra color corrector. It's a color remover, and this is what I'm going to put all over Mary's head. Now, and on Super Mary face, I am using the Kenra... Um, ammonia free lightener to retouch her routage and I'm gonna use the Kenra color creative to formulate our fun galactic color <laughs> okay so stay tuned I'm gonna right, mix guys. This. so this literally changes everything I mean look at this blonde I applied the color remover here with the Kenra and it's all coming off so there's zero damage if I could start over and do this again from the start what I would do it's just apply the color remover on first all over, remove everything, and retouch her regrowth if needed. Um, I, generally, I didn't even have to do that, but I, that w that's what I would have done if I could start over. Because I don't want the two chemicals to touch, I leave spaces in between because I don't want some weird chemical reaction. In a way, I want to just do it, just so we have a paranormal hair activity. <laughs> <laughs> Just, just just, so we have something crazy to happen. I don't want to go bald. But she so. doesn't want to go bald. <laughs> so we decide it's best that we just shampoo her out, blow dry her, and apply the color remover again all over just to get rid of that middle band. But we have made this discovery together, guys. And I'm so excited we caught this on Paranormal Activity live for everyone to see. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> all right. So we are back from shampooing the lightener out and the color remover out. Now you guys know I didn't want to touch that band in between because I didn't want it to have a weird chemical reaction between the bleach and the color remover. You know, because I don't want things smoking and hair falling off. <laughs> Even though it is paranormal hair activity, I didn't want crazy things to happen. I know you guys would have loved seeing what would happen, but I didn't want that to happen. This is my approach now. I'm gonna apply the color remover all throughout here um, and then let it remove out completely as you can see it turned it pretty blonde but the blonde has a dinge to it all so right so we are back the green is completely gone from the color remover so you can see this band here i don't know you guys can see that band this band is from her history um when we bleached her last time we didn't lift that all the way because I went in with like the dark blue and the dark blue would cover all that. So now this is revealing the underlying pigment. So now that means I will have to shampoo all this out and rebleach these areas only. Just rebleach the mid shaft area. Of course, we will be using Olaplex uh, with the Kenra lightener um, just halfway down just to get rid of that, that uh, goldish orange band. So that way we could go to more of a galactic color because if it's not evenly lifted, you're gonna have an even splotchy tones and I don't like that. With, especially with fashion colors, if it looks splotchy green and blue, it just it ain't cute. Here is the color. Um, I'm gonna put some more bleaching activity right through here because there's a slight band, as you can see. Very icy here, but still kind of goldish in that tone right in the middle. So I gotta remove oh that. Something weird just fucking happened. I applied the bleach onto that band and the green came back. That does not make any sense. And this is very paranormal. I mean, like, <laughs> when I say paranormal hair activity, you guys are witnessing this. It turned green again. How does this happen? The color remover completely removed the direct eye. Okay, scientifically, I'm thinking here. This is insane. Okay, you guys are witnessing this live right when the bleach touched it. Look, the green reversed itself. Okay, let's apply it here. Let's see what happens. Okay, because there's a little bit of dark band there. Okay, let's see if that turns green. Oh my god. Do you guys see this? It's happening. It's turning green. I do not understand. We that do not understand what's going on. So weird. 
Oh my gosh, this is like, insane. Oh look, do you see that? Man? Yeah, it's like as bright as it was before. What? How can it go from blonde to this? We, you know what? This is insane. Uh, we're gonna try to figure this out as we move up. Uh, because if I have to perform another color remover on top of this, we don't know. But you guys are witnessing this live. Like literally, that it just turned me okay. Listen this, and I kind of like this. I like the fact that you guys are learning through my discoveries. I like the fact that we're learning together as friends, and I'm sharing this with you guys. And I'm gonna try to figure this out, but we're gonna figure out together, and you guys are gonna witness me doing this with you. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I think the in, the people who are watching are probably getting very entertained by this. Yeah. They're like, uh, what is Guy going to do since this happened? And you know what, guys? I'm not perfect. I never said I know everything. I never say, say that. I, as an educator, what I do is I feel like we go through this uh, together and we're learning together. And not just by me telling you, but by me showing you what's going on uh, live right in front of our, you know, your face. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so I finished applying the lightener throughout Mary's hair through that middle band. So you can see she literally turned green. And yes, I know hair color removers shrink dye molecules and they're literally still in there. But here's the thing scientifically, uh, it's designed to shrink oxidative dyes. It's not really designed to shrink direct dyes because I've done this before. I've used color removers on my partner, my friends, and it removes pinks and purples and then I've changed the color right then and there. But in this situation, I never had to um, re-bleach it again to remove a certain band. Uh, but somehow the bleach touching it makes the green come back. So that's my thing. What if she decide to be red and I just went and put red over her hair not knowing there's green in there, right? So what, wouldn't that green and red cancel out and turn brown and muddy? That could happen. So that's part of my concern thinking at this. So we don't know until we shampoo her because literally I could just shampoo her and all the green comes out. We don't know. Uh, I'm just taking it step by step. I'm not scared. Neither is Mary. Mary's not scared. <laughs> and it's great to uh, consult with your clients. If you have clients with colors like this and they change it back and forth all the time, just go with the flow and warn them beforehand because this could happen. <laughs> Mary, what are your thoughts? I, well, I was amazed. It was like, what? Crazy that it went green again. But I've no doubt that it's going to be fine. Like. The bleach is still going to lift up the bands and it's still going to be, you know, lightened overall and we're still going to be able to do the colours that we want. It's just so weird to me that the molecules, like, that the dye can just hide. Like, that's so, like, the science of it is amazing to me. But I, what's most important is that we capture it on video for you yeah. guys to see. And I love that. I love the fact that we can expose this type of education that no one's ever seen before and it's just so funny. This is like... A reality show for it. Yeah. For well, like, I imagine if anyone ever has done this before and their hair just went like a totally weird color or something like that happened, they would kind of be too scared to show it. And I, I really love the guy, even though he's like one of the best, he's still like, oh my god, we didn't know this was gonna happen, we gotta show you guys. It's so honest. We're not like, we didn't perfect the color and then show you. We showed you as it was happening. Oh, thank you. you know, that's true. I'm just being honest with you guys what happens, it's not about me, you know, posting things on Instagram, go, wow, look at me type of thing. It's more about me really sharing my experience, what goes on behind the scenes to empower you guys in the salon because I think we all face this problem. How do we deal with it? What do we do? You know, we don't know, we do not know, but we roll with it. It's about not being scared. I'm not scared, Mary's not scared, you shouldn't be scared. So hopefully if you ever encountered this type of situation, um, you know, watch this video again and make your clients make your make your clients watch this video yes. with you so if this can. happens so they know that hey everybody faces problem you know like yeah super even the best yeah oh, oh thank you <laughs> You're, she's so sweet to me i mean i, I love guys i know you guys are the best no my hair besties are the best yeah <laughs> all right guys i am back and i just got done shampooing out mary's hair as you can see um it's very interesting because a lot of the green actually came off so you can see the blonde coming through it's just random parts here you can see a little bit of green right through here see that just a little bit it's not too bad and he here's here's the situation guys 
Mary, you are concerned about the health of your hair, so you didn't want to do... A lot of my friends, you know, um, are telling me to do uh, clear and 30 volume mm -hmm. and on, you know, because I periscope you guys and you guys told me live to do it. And yes, I've done that method before. But the reason why I opted not to do that method is because clear is basically just ammonia in a tube that doesn't have pigment in it. Yeah. So the situation is her hair has already been bleached, high lifted. I don't need to, I don't want to put ammonia into her hair anymore because it can cause conflict. Um, and still, I when I've done clear before in the past, sometimes it still re leaves residual green. It's not promising. So I'll, I'm just going to try again and do another color remover step and then go eat. And come back and take this chance and see what happens. And whatever happens, happens. But part of this is so you guys can see it happen with me together. See? I think it's kind of, this like minty blonde is kind of pretty. Yeah! <laughs> okay, so we have the color remover on her hair once again. Now all the green is completely gone, as you can see. Oh. And it removed it, and will it come back? We don't know, but that's a chance I'm willing to take because I'd rather her hair be healthy than be fried off. And because you want to be able to change your color often, right? Yeah, we're, that's the whole thing is what we're doing is we're doing a different color, like once a month or once every two months. I don't want to be stuck with a color that I can later like... You know, your hair fall yeah, off. Yeah, it's like me trying to change it and having to bleach it and it'll just be terrible. Yeah, because I've seen it happen and I think that this way looks pretty cool to me. So we're going to roll with it. It looks pretty good to me so far. <laughs> so we're going to rinse it off here and then apply the next yes! color. Yes! We're back! <laughs> Look! It, within five minutes of the color remover on there, it's gone. The green's completely gone, and she's back to super blonde. And now we're gonna put the next color on there. Look at this. It feels healthier now, if anything. It feels so amazing. It is so soft, so silky, and it's so blonde. Yeah, it, it is really blonde. <laughs> Time for the next step. Hey guys, I got me a big jug of the Olaplex number two. You guys see that? The Olaplex number two. So here are the bowls, and I'm gonna squirt them all with some Olaplex number two, and I'm gonna add the color into them. Uh, this is gonna dilute the color so the pigment will be a little bit more sheer, a little bit brighter, and not so dark. Because sometimes when we do these type of colors, they go dark. So I'm just gonna fill all these bowls up, and I'm gonna add the pigment in and mix it up. And this is one of my favorite recipes, is to use number two, so you can preserve the integrity of the hair while coloring at the same time. So let's get started. Yeah. All right, so we got all the colors mixed here. We got a darker blue. Okay, so you can see what that looks like here. So it's like a dark, almost like a navy type of blue here. Uh, I got another blue here, a uh, different concoction with the Olaplex number two. Oh, well this is turning into an interesting color. Okay, so uh, I keep concocting so to see what we come up with. But look how the tones we're creating. This is kind of like a teal-ish tone. So got like a little ocean color going. It's gonna be galactic. I think I'm gonna add some purple in here just so it'll balance this out. But I kind of like the contrast actually. This looks. It's cool. nice. I like it. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're going somewhere. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. So this is one of the ways you can use it. You can use um, the Olaplex number two. Um, so you get the you know nutritional benefits of the rebonding action, the bond perfector while you're adding pigment to the hair at the same time. So in the first bowl, we got the color creative blue. It's really dark, it looks almost black in a the bowl. Then we got the color creative with Olaplex number two with um, the teal. And then we got some violet with blue mixed together with a little pink and Olaplex number two. And then we got pink with some Olaplex number two. So all right, guys. So as you can see, we did what we call a uh, color melt yeah, that's the name but you can see i am doing the teal the purples the pinks and is there a specific placement kind of yes and no i go with how much density she has in her hair how her hair is cut all those things play a role like i pull out a section and i go do i want blue or purple here or do i want pink so you kind of have to go with how you feel it with the person's haircut so just look at the color wheel. What stands out more? Pink stands out a lot. So do you need a lot of that? Probably not. You know, do you need to see more purple? Purple's usually dark. So think about how colors compress and which color expands. And pink expands a lot because it's brighter. So I, I don't put too much of it. But this is really cool. It has that neon 80s retro feel, which I am obsessed with. 
Um, I because of the Olaplex number two, it's actually conditioning our hair at the same time. And I also feel safe that because it's sheared out, it's not going to bleed to get together as I rinse. So I'm just going to rinse it with cold water, blast it really fast, and it's going to be amazing. I'm, I'm obsessed. I'm, I'm excited. Alright, so we are just about finished. I'm just finishing around her face frame, but you see how the color melting action is going on. It's really cool. I just love looking at this. And um, I find that applying heat to this will really help the color penetrate better because sometimes when I'm pushing the product in it looks like it's not taking but if I just trust the product let it sit for the full 20 minutes so that way everything soaks in really good and even if I apply a little bit of heat for 5 to 10 minutes it helps it you know just sucks it right in look at that I'm so excited oh my gosh guys we are done <laughs> Okay, we can't figure out a name for this. We're like, okay, it's not alien anymore, right? No, because we were gonna call it the uh, alien, alien Empress. Empress. But and when now that it's finished, it's like, I don't know. I don't feel like it's alien. I feel like it's like monster, because it just reminds me of Monster Inc. Monster thing, but then there, what, what kind of name could that be? We can't call you a monster. Uh, I don't know. The color is really pretty though, right? You know what's really cool is that I mix. Olaplex number two to dilute the colors to brighten the tones because you know how when you use those direct dyes they're really dark so instead of using a clear or a white I use Olaplex number two and then add the color in to brighten up the color and voila here it is I think that's a great and smart way to do it right mm -hmm. so of course she has to go home with Olaplex number three Yay! here I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you two. Oh my gosh, and thank you. Don't wash your hair for two days mm -hmm. and don't wash your hair too much. Use dry shampoo when mm -hmm. your hair gets greasy and oily, okay? Because a lot of you guys have messaged me about like how you maintain this color. Well, you know, I rinsed her out with cold water so it didn't bleed. So there's no bleeding <laughs> problem. So when you do wash it, make sure you put the Olaplex number three on first and and then uh, cold water if okay. you can stand it. <laughs> Look guys. This took 10 hours. My hands are blue, green, and, and pink arms. I mean, you know. <laughs> the entire process was so exciting that it was like, it just went by. So we were like, oh my god, it's been seven hours already? And then it was just, it was so much happened. It was paranormal. <laughs> it was paranormal, right? We love Mary. So please leave some comments below. Follow Mary. Follow me on Instagram as well. Um, what's that? Periscope and Twitter. You can yeah, follow us on Twitter. Yeah. I'll leave all the links below. Facebook. <laughs> and yeah, we had so much fun. Please tell us what you want to name this. You know, I was yeah. What do you think it should be called? Leave some comments below. Cause I was thinking retro chic. What do yeah, you guys think? Cause it it's is very, very retro. Retro chic, eighties color. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> let, let, let's do a couple poses. Oh, yes. Wait, ooh. I'll flex. Ooh. 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 Comments. Love you guys. <laughs> Spiders and hair besties. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're so sexy. <laughs> Coming from you. Oh, 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 you're right. But you know your powers don't work on me, right? Yeah, it's true. It's but, true. It's true, but you are like a spider woman. You're so hot. <laughs> I love you. But who, who's who 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 no, what team are you playing for? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what, what team are you playing for? Team Guy or Team Mary? <laughs> we don't know. We do not know. <laughs>